Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chrissy here. Welcome if you are new, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button down below so you can join the squad. Come on in, bring it on in, all of that. Okay, you guys? So today, you guys, I decided to do this shimmer green gold type action beat. Okay, it's giving everything it needs to give. Very classy and it's matching the outfit. Don't forget to, you know, scroll on down to the description box. So you guys can check out my other social networks if you are interested in the outfit details and this to see the outfit because you know your girl gonna give a look with a look. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going in, I'm gonna just do like some really simple brows today. And I'm going in with my e.l.f. pencil. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. And I have used this in previous tutorials. I believe this is in the shade dark brown. Don't quote me. But it's something that I always like to use when I'm just doing my brows, period. Like, even if I use the pomade, this is just one of the things that I would like, you know, trace out my brows with and go in with first. So yeah. If y'all hear some birds chirping, it is definitely early in the morning time, okay? And your girl is actually in the parking lot of the grocery store doing her voiceover in the car, okay? <laughs> but I'm going in with two concealers, one being the Fun at the bottom and the LA Girl Pro concealers. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Deep on top from the Tarte Tape Shape. Okay, guys, so you're just going to make sure you blend out that concealer around those brows because you don't want it to, like, just not be blended. Like, you just don't want it to be blended and looking crazy when you put your foundation on. Like, you want everything to just be blended out smoothly and good, okay? So, right now, you just see me use this same concealer, the fun, and I'm just bringing that onto the lids. I just used what was left onto my brush when I was, like, doing the clean up at the bottom yeah so i just use that and i blended it down and then i'm going ahead in with this jackie Ina palette from anastasia beverly hills that she collabed with i'm going to be taking this palette because i don't really use this palette a lot and i was going to tell y'all like i know the girls be using their palettes up but i have not yet had no eyeshadow palette that i just panned the whole palette like when i say panned I mean like use the whole entire palette like I have never did that ever in my life like and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I really just think it's because I have too many palettes that I just go in with and I just don't be having the time or I just don't wear makeup like that to you know just be uh <laughs> pan in the palettes or something like I don't even know what it is but your girl just have never panned a palette and I seen that last night when I was like dang your girl has never panned a palette ever i was just thinking about that like i have never did that and then when i get on here i'll be seeing so many tutorials of makeup and girls be panning their palettes and i'll be like crystal what are you doing you know but so y'all saw me take them two brown shades and it kind of gave me like a brick red type color and then i went in with like a darker brown shade from that palette and i'm just going to be putting it on the outer corners kind of halfway into the crease area like 
we going a little half in the crease area then we're gonna blend it out on the outer corners and then i went back in with that same fun concealer and your girl just went ahead and blended that over the lid kind of like you doing like a cut crease but not really i guess so like i guess it could be like a cut crease but it's kind of like a half cut crease but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing you guys so you can see me just doing that now So I'm going in with this Morphe palette and this is another palette that I have not used in a while and I just decided to use it. It had my color green that your girl was going to be wearing today so I said you know what let me go ahead and do that or whatever but um i did go ahead and put like that little shimmer gold from that jackie Ina palette if you guys was wondering and i'm just going to be taking this green shade from out of this morphe palette and just adding it on the rest of the lid and then i'm going to go back in with that dark brown shade from the jackie Ina palette and just blend it on the edges you guys and i just make sure i go back in with all the previous transition colors and just blend out all of the edges you know just so everything can just come together you got to make sure you blend out them edges okay you got to go back in with the colors because sometimes when you're using other colors it kind of take away from the colors. so you want to go back in with the same colors and yeah I'm going in with a liner and I do like this liner it actually came inside of a boxy charm box that I had got and I believe it's by Molly and it's in the shade black and I like it but it's kind of like a dry it's not really dry it glides on smooth don't get me wrong but it ain't what I'm used to using like I'm so used to using like a wet type of um I'm so used to using like a wet type of liner like that dries down matte and this kind of it's kind of like a cream liner if that makes any sense it's kind of like that but i do like it y'all see it is you gotta build it up it works out going in with my tequila cosmetics lashes in the style kiki i really like these lashes you guys now they are definitely fluttery and everything like that but i just went ahead and went in with these because i was just like <laughs> why not you got the green shadow they popping you might as well do what you gotta do period and i just like it okay going in with the face now now i did go ahead and moisturize my face already off camera and then i went in with that fancy beauty primer now i love this fancy beauty primer it makes my makeup last for so long like i don't be getting any creasing when it comes to my foundations and none of that like i really do love this and then you're just gonna be seeing me blend it on out you guys i said let me just go in with the fancy beauty foundation i mean why not you already going in with the primer so you might as well just go ahead and do the full throttle with it but however i do use this primer for other foundations and it works very good with it actually one of the ones that i like to use is the oh yeah you guys i'm going in with the monica spray but one of the foundations that i love to use with this fancy beauty primer is the anastasia beverly hills like that and the primer just goes perfectly together just like the foundation do with it but you know other foundations that are not fancy beauty that matches up with this primer from fancy beauty i definitely recommend that anastasia beverly hills like <laughs> top tier okay the whole combo i'm going in with this concealer and i will leave all the shades or you can check previous videos that i have using the same shades and you guys would know what shades i am like you just gotta look at the tutorial sis you gotta be listening when your girl give you the gems in the previous tutorials okay but no i'm just going in with highlighting i'm also using deep right now to do like a little cream contour and then i'm gonna let that sit for just a while and then i'm going to be blending it on out I 
guys so one of the things that i love to do is blend down my concealers with like a sponge or something and then i go in with the same foundation brush i don't add any product to that i just use what's left on there just to blend out the edges guys so the powder you see me going in with this is the air spun translucent powder and i love this powder because i don't get any cakey feel it's very thin and lightweight and it just don't make your face look white like with no cast or anything left over so this is definitely a recommendation of a powder and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while y'all always know or always see your girl using this powder okay so i am just blending everything out with my foundation brush like i told y'all i like to do after everything i do on my face i go back in with that foundation brush i don't have to add any product i just use what is left and i just go ahead and just blend everything on out so I'm blending out the Jackie Ina on the bottom lash line and that's what you guys saw me doing. I'm going in with this Morphe 24G palette and I'm going to be taking that dark brown shade and I'm just going to be using that as a contour. If you guys don't know, this palette is like universal. Like you can use this for a lot of stuff. Like you can use it for eyeshadows, you can use it for blush, um, you can use it for powders if this is like your skin tone you can use it for contour powder like it's so much stuff you can do with this palette i love it okay so i'm just blending it out and i'm just going to be making sure i do my nose as well snatch that nose up snatch <laughs> it's so nah but i'm going to be snatching that nose up with this same brown shade and then you girl gonna go ahead and move on I'm going in with this Dove Cosmetics and this has actually been one of my favorite so far combos like this peach and then this lighter peach shade and this has just been one of my favorite combos for blush lately like when I'm doing like a color look or even when I'm just doing like a chill type look like you want a little blush on there that's not doing too much this has definitely been one of that i'm also going to be taking the highlighter from this same company and i really do recommend these products because your girl love it like what they are and it's black on you guys and it's so popping i really love this highlight like y'all see what it's doing to your girl face don't ever play with it okay y'all see it like <laughs> Y'all see, it ain't even much to talk about. So I'm just going to be blending it out as well, like the edges of it. I go back in with my foundation brush as well. And I just blend out everything that I put ever on my face. Like, it's a must. Now, one thing that your girl did not do is I did not go back and draw my mole on my nose. Because y'all know, naturally, I have a mole on my nose and like on my cheek. But I didn't go back and draw that in. And I didn't notice it till after the whole video was done. But I was just like, you know what? I guess we're not doing it today. But you see the face. Don't play. <laughs> going in with the City Bronzer from Maybelline. And I'm just going to be, you know, toning that contour down. I feel like bronzers really tone that contour down. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't doing no contour, you just want to look bronzed up. This does the job. Okay? So I'm just going in with just a little bit of that. I'm going to be taking this auto liner from ruby kisses i believe and i'm going to be also taking a dove cosmetics liner as well it's kind of like a pinky nude liner and then i'm going to be taking this pinky nude color from ellen tracy now this lipstick came in a pack like it came in a pack i don't believe none of these had shades it was just like in a whole pack of different shades and i just decided to use this for the first time because your girl has not ever used this so i was just like let me go ahead and use this today it looks cute it's definitely giving what it needs to give and yeah y'all this is what it looked like so i had went in with the dub cosmetics liner first and then i went in with the lipstick and then i went ahead and blended it out with that uh, ruby kisses liner because i just yeah me personally i don't really care for like a new new color on me i have to tone it down with like some um liner because it kind of gives me like a ashy lip like i don't know 
you know some girls can get away with that but me i'm not doing it so i always tone everything down with like a brown liner like it don't matter what i do even if i do like a red it have to be like an ombre like kind of do like a deep red liner or something and then light like that's that's what we have to do over here okay for these lips so i'm going in with the fenty beauty refreshing spray and this is one of my favorite sprays gonna let that dry this is what we set in the face with and yeah y'all this is definitely the face and it's definitely giving face i hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it for you guys. If you like videos like this, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to let your girl know that you want more content like this and you appreciate the content. Hey, if you are new and returning, I thank you so much for clicking on my video and checking it out. I really, 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 really do. If you would like to join the squad, if you are new and you are not already subscribed to your girl's channel, do not hesitate to click that subscribe button down below, okay? And come on in, bring it on in, all of that. Join the fam, join the squad, all of that. I'm not going to ramble too much on this outro, but like, comment, share, and subscribe. And your girl going to see y'all in the next video.